Thanks, Jamie. Good evening, everyone. Short track is truly living on an edge. Tonight, all five must be daring and block out the fear of crashing into a barrier or losing consciousness if they should crash headfirst onto the rock-hard ice beneath their feet. It's time to commit. 500 metres, four and a half laps. It'll take just a minute to win it, but how many will be left standing? Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the men's speed skating. In lane one, Romeo. He's got the green draw, he's got the power, but can he stay on his feet and contain his daredevil tactics? In lane two, Mr. Gay UK. Technically, Mr. Gay UK is the best, but how much does he want the victory and will he stick his neck out? In lane three, Shane Lynn. Shane in the green, the Karani Irishman. Happy to lead or to come from behind. In lane four, Charles Ingram. The Major wearing black. There are no shortcuts in short track, so this is one he'll have to do on his own. And in lane five, Hard Shaw! Australia's Stephen Bradbury won Olympic gold in Salt Lake City when all fell before him. Will Lightning strike twice? So now they come onto the line under orders. This is the time when they've got to get their feet absolutely still. Stand square to that line. Remember, a full start to put real pressure on all of them. Romeo on the inside, you can see how... No, just a pause there by the chief official. Romeo takes the position again. And it is further away. And it is Mr. Gay UK who gets first to the turn. And coming round on the inside there, Shane Lynch. Right behind is Romeo. And the Major and Pat Sam Romeo. Oh, Shane Lynch is down. And it's uh, Romeo on the inside in red. Who has the lead now for Mr. Gay UK. And Shane Lynch is up on his feet. The Major's just behind him. Pat Sharp right in the back. Romeo goes down, brings down Mr. Gay UK. Shane Lynch comes through. Mr. Gay UK is back on his feet. And Shane Lynch coming around with more momentum. Romeo is third. The Major's closing up. Pat is still cruising. Pat Sharp. It is Shane Lynch at the moment. Leading from Mr. Gay UK in blue. It's green for blue. Romeo in red. Romeo coming on the inside now. Coming on the inside of Mr. Gay Romeo and Mr. Gay UK tied together. Shane Lynch going around. And Romeo has got the better of Mr. Gay UK as Pat Sharp causes a traffic obstacle. But it is as they come round to the bell. Shane Lynch is Romeo closing try. Mr. Gay UK using that good crossover technique. Here comes Romeo. Great power to weight ratio. Can he get him on the outside? Is he going on the inside? He's going to dive for it. Here we go, Shane looking big, and he gets there by just about a boot length with Mr. Gay UK in third place. And still coming home, it's the major ahead of Pat Sharp. An instant and Pat 500, a terrific race, a roller coaster. They were down, they were up, they were down again. A magnificent race, and all credit to the men. And I'm sure Stuart Hawkeful is really proud of the five of them. Let's have a look at the start. Here you can see Jared, Mr. Gay UK, getting through on the inside. Good power, good aggression. And, and there you can see the little scrap. Now have a look at it from this angle. You can see that really good explosive start there from Mr. Gay UK. That's the aggression he's been building all week. And he just gets that all-important start. But he doesn't get away he doesn't get away from Shane Lynch. Shane Lynch goes ahead, but now have a look what happens here. Shane just flip skates with Mr. Gay UK. Down he goes, and it opens the door on the inside there for Romeo to challenge. So Romeo has a share of the lead before he takes a real curler, and that does hurt. But meanwhile, you can see it's all down. Meanwhile, while all this is happening, Shane Lynch has got back onto his feet. Real drama. This is short track skating at its 
most entertaining. But by the time we came to the finish straight, they were shoulder to shoulder, but it was just Shane Lynch who spread himself enough to hold off Romeo. So five points to Shane Lynch, and four go to Romeo. Mr. Gay UK in third. Great race, Jamie. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the men's speed skating is Shane Lynch. <laughs> stories here tonight yeah. on the ice. I, I feel for Shane, Jamie, to be honest, because I'm sure it was totally accidental. I don't think he knew the rule that if you step outside the track, you're disqualified. Because it wasn't his momentum that took him out, it was he's getting back to his feet and he stepped outside the track, has to be disqualified. Great shame because he skated so well. Throws the competition wide oh, open. It's a doesn't great it? leaderboard now, isn't it? Tomorrow night's going to be terrific. Absolutely. Uh, a huge disappointment uh, for Shane Lynch. Shane's with him right now. I have got a little bit of bad news for you, Shane, about speed skating. I need you to just have a little watch of this. No, I, don't, I know it's coming. This is you going round. There we have it. Stuart, what's happening then? <laughs> Basically, it's really unfortunate. He loses a bit of where he's going. He actually steps inside the block there, and that's against the regulation. So, unfortunately, he has to be disqualified. Shane, what do you think? Uh, no problem. That's all good. I didn't deserve to win anyway, like I said, so I'm very pleased with this try in it. You still showed amazing bravery, and we're all very proud of you. Thank Hard you. lines there, Jamie.